Sony officially registered a new camera in China, and this might be the Sony A7 V coming in early 2025. Although nothing is official, the specs makes it tempting to believe it might be FX32, which could replace Sony A7S series. So what Sony has stored for us in 2025? Sony has registered a new camera under the code WW773396 in China, indicating the imminent arrival of the Sony A75. This model is expected to build upon the legacy of the A74, which set a high bar for hybrid cameras with its 33 megapixel sensor and exceptional video capabilities. Industry speculation suggests the A7 V will include significant advancements, such as AI-enhanced autofocus, better low-light performance, and next-level video features like 6K oversampling and 4K at 120 frames per second. Improved stabilization, rumored at eight stops, could make handheld shooting more reliable. Connectivity upgrades like Wi-Fi 6E, USB-C with 10 gigabits per second speeds, and enhanced heat dissipation are anticipated to cater to professional workflows. Slated for an early 2025 release, the A75 is shaping up to redefine the hybrid camera market, promising improved usability for both photographers and videographers. Expected to be priced between $2,500 and $2,800, it aims to compete with rivals like the Canon EOS R6 Mark II and Nikon Z6 III offering a blend of cutting-edge technology and practicality. In addition to technical features, the camera's design is anticipated to be more ergonomic, addressing feedback from professional users for improved handling during extended shoots. Its AI-enhanced autofocus is particularly exciting for portrait and event photographers, enabling quicker subject recognition and tracking, even in challenging lighting conditions. Landscape photographers and videographers alike will appreciate the rumored 6K oversampling for delivering sharp, high-quality results. The A7V's rumored sensor advancements may also benefit dynamic range, potentially making it a top choice for creative professionals who demand flexibility in post-production. Moreover, features such as customizable buttons and an updated menu system could further enhance the user experience. With its advanced capabilities, the A7 V could become a flagship choice for hybrid shooters, making it a significant milestone in Sony's Alpha Series evolution. The Sony A7S IV is rumored to release in CES 2024, marking a long-awaited update to the video-centric A7S III. Speculation suggests a new 24-megapixel Exmor R sensor, capable of 4K 60p with 6K oversampling and uncropped 4K 120p with pixel binning. Enhanced stabilization, up to eight stops, and improved digital stabilization are expected to cater to handheld videography needs. This stabilization upgrade could transform the way filmmakers approach on-the-go shooting, reducing the need for external gimbals. While reports hint at a reduction in EVF resolution to 3.69 million dots, this is likely balanced by other upgrades, including potentially longer battery life and improved menu interfaces for quicker navigation during shoots. Priced between $2,739 and $3,099, the A7S IV may solidify its position as a premier choice for filmmakers. However, it faces stiff competition from Sony's own FX3 and Nikon's Z6 III. With its rumored capability of producing cinematic-grade footage, this model could become a go-to choice for independent filmmakers and YouTubers alike. Additionally, its improved digital stabilization and sensor technology could set a new benchmark in low-light videography, continuing the A7S line's legacy. Beyond video, the A7S IV might also appeal to hybrid shooters seeking versatile performance in stills. Its rumored AI-based autofocus system could improve subject tracking, even in difficult conditions such as low-light or fast-paced environments. For vloggers and social media creators, features like a fully articulating screen, enhanced audio inputs, 
and direct-to-platform streaming support could offer additional value. The Sony A7R6 is generating buzz with rumors of a groundbreaking 100-megapixel full-frame sensor, likely leveraging stacked CMOS technology for faster processing and reduced rolling shutter. This upgrade would make it ideal for high-resolution photography, including landscapes, commercial work, and fine art prints. Improved autofocus with enhanced subject tracking and up to eight stops of in-body stabilization are expected to appeal to both photographers and videographers. Dual CFX Press Type B card slots are anticipated, addressing the demands of large file sizes. This improvement would greatly benefit professional workflows, enabling faster data transfer and efficient handling of high-resolution image files. Additionally, a potential new lens, an FE 500mm f2.8 GMOSS with a built-in teleconverter, could debut alongside the camera, offering wildlife and sports photographers unmatched reach and flexibility. The rumored innovations in sensor and autofocus technology are expected to give the A7R6 a competitive edge over Canon's EOS R5 and Nikon Z9. Moreover, this camera is poised to cater to professionals looking for a versatile tool that excels in both still photography and video production, ensuring it remains a favorite in the high-resolution camera market. Landscape photographers are particularly excited about the potential for expanded dynamic range, allowing for more detail in highlights and shadows. Videographers, on the other hand, might benefit from features like 8K recording with no overheating issues and color science advancements. These improvements could position the A7R6 as a dual-purpose powerhouse. Rumors suggest that Sony may discontinue the A7S series in favor of the FX line, with the FX32 positioned as the successor to the FX3. This model is rumored to feature a global shutter, a 12.9 megapixel sensor, and the ability to record 4K at 180 frames per second, catering to filmmakers seeking high-speed cinematic footage. The absence of a built-in fan and the option for an EVF accessory could improve portability. The global shutter feature is particularly noteworthy, as it addresses rolling shutter issues commonly encountered in fast action shots. This makes the FX32 a game-changer for sports videographers and action filmmakers. While details remain scarce, the FX32's potential to integrate cutting-edge video features without sacrificing mobility makes it a highly anticipated release for 2025. For vloggers and documentary filmmakers, its lightweight design combined with professional-grade features could make it an ideal choice. Sony's decision to potentially streamline its lineup with the FX3 underscores its commitment to innovation in the compact cinema camera segment. In addition to its video-centric features, the FX32 may also include enhanced audio recording options, such as built-in XLR inputs, to meet professional audio standards. This camera could also provide better heat management, allowing for longer recording times without interruptions. The Sony FX9 II is expected to bring substantial upgrades over its predecessor, the FX9. A new 8.7 micrometer pixel size DCI 4K HDR BSI sensor is rumored, offering improved low light performance and dynamic range comparable to high end cinema cameras like the Arri Alexa. Enhanced recording capabilities, including DCI 4K at 120 frames per second with XOCN, could appeal to professionals seeking flexibility in post-production. Multi-base ISO settings and improved color accuracy are expected to expand its usability across diverse lighting conditions. The FX92's rumored upgrades make it particularly appealing for feature film production, where consistent image quality and flexibility are paramount. This camera is also anticipated to include advanced connectivity options, such as wireless file transfer and cloud integration, streamlining workflows for on-set teams. 
While the FX9 already set a high standard, these advancements make the FX9 II a compelling option for cinematographers aiming for top-tier performance. Expected in 2024, this camera promises to elevate Sony's dominance in the professional filmmaking arena and is likely to attract production houses looking for an adaptable and reliable cinema solution. In addition, the FX9 II is expected to compete directly with RED and Blackmagic cameras, offering comparable features at a potentially lower price point. This combination of value and cutting-edge technology positions it as a strong contender in the high-end cinema market. Beyond traditional cinema use, the FX9 II might appeal to creators working on large-scale documentaries and commercial projects, further expanding its audience.